And I got in on Sunday, the 5th of August. Whoa. Yes. And so I had heard about her past experience with the vegan roommates, and some other friends had told me to play a little trick on her. Oh, so yeah. I got in, and Lindsay was all, how was your flight and everything? <laughs> and I said, oh, you know, it was pretty good. I just had some hard times when I was trying to order food, you know, being vegan and all. It was kind of difficult. And she gives me this look. She goes, <laughs> and it was too. so funny. It was all natural. I guess that's how I was truly feeling. Yeah. <laughs> and so I couldn't, I couldn't play it too long, so I was, I'm just kidding. And yeah, that that would have been really unfortunate if she was vegan for a year. <laughs> oh, there's no way I could do that. You that know me, you know. I cannot. Mm-mm. Yeah. So, Speaking of food, yeah, of Leanna, food. let's talk about the food that you had. Well, I got in on Sunday, so Sunday afternoon I had Korean food for lunch. Not Chinese. Not Korean. Chinese. Sunday night... Some good friends prepared for us a meal that was Mexican. Still Mexican no, fajitas. Yes. Still no Chinese food. Yes. So then Monday, <laughs> for lunch, we go to Uno Mi and I got a turkey sandwich. Uno Mi is this western coffee shop feeling place. So still no Chinese, no Chinese food. food. Then for dinner on that Monday night, we made pizza. Yeah. Still. With lots of... Of pepperoni and cheese is as unvegan as you can get. Yes, very. It's for you, Aubrey. Yeah, and so still no Chinese food. Oh, and we made Nutella brownies. Mm. Yes, we did. Oh, yeah. Let me back up and say I knew we would get along really, really great when I saw her unpack three jars of Nutella, and we're Mm -hmm. not talking like little puny jars. We're talking like big jars. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Knew, Knew we were. We knew we were squared. And I knew that I would like her when I started playing my Lecrae, the whole rap music, and she just started jamming out with me, and yeah. it was good. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Hey, was, for those of you who know her and are friends with her, she shared a chocolate bar with me. So I heard that that's like a really big deal. Don't tell anyone. Wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't, don't spread it too far. That's all I'm saying. Was I not supposed to mention that? No, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, we made Nutella brownies. Yes. And they were pretty fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then... But still no Chinese food Still yet. no Chinese food. So <coughs> Tuesday comes around, and for mm-hmm. lunch I just make a peanut butter and Nutella sandwich. Still no Chinese food. Yum. And then for dinner, what do we do? Go to Uno Mi. Because Tuesday night is when we have English corner at Uno Mi. Mm-hmm. So, it's great. What and explain that. Explain English Corner. Yeah. English Corner is a corner where people speak English. English Corner. Ah. Uh, so okay. yeah. Um. Okay. Let me get a little more detailed. <laughs> it's where a group of Americans who meet. speak English. <clears throat> yes, because Americans mostly speak English. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're in Texas, and half of us speak. Spanish. Anyway, okay, so a group of Americans meet with a group of Chinese people who speak Chinese, but these Chinese people know a little bit of English and they want to practice it. So we all meet in this one area and just speak English to each other. But it's cool because our English corner is, um, has, have discussion topics and they're scripture based, which is great. So it's a great way to talk and open up with people. Yes. It's a good sharing time. Yes. Anyway. But that night, I got... What did I get? It was nasty. Okay, she... It's called the Mediterranean plate, which sounds really fancy and great. I had never had anything like it before, even in America. And well, that's because it was called the Mediterranean plate. They still make stuff like that. You know what... It wasn't any good. It's not even. Oh, hot size. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. So she didn't like it. No. That's what was, she's trying to say. It was bad. But that's still 
no Chinese food. Still no food. Chinese food. And this is day three of being day there. Day three. <clears throat> so day four. Day four, there was no lunch that day because I had to get a body exam and all that stuff. Mm. I'll come back to that later. So anyway, but finally, that night, after walking home from school, mm-hmm. had some... Some thr- street food. Street food. Straight up. Yo. Fried rice. Yeah, fried rice. Chow yeah. fa. Chow fa. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. So. Um, it, was only, it was only five kwai, which is like one American dollar. So super, super cheap. Very There's a reason cheap. it's so cheap. Um, it's just very simple and very greasy and very street foodish. Street foodish. But it's good. It was mm. good. It was good. It was very good. But finally, Chinese food. Yeah. But then come to Thursday. <laughs> come to Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Lunch we had Subway. Lunch we had Subway. Dinner we had the rest of our pizza. Yep. So, <laughs> we're slowly working her into Asian food. But somehow, I've already kind of gotten sick. Yeah. So, I don't know if it was that fried rice deal or what, because... Yeah, she's no bueno. No, I don't, no I don't good. Know. I don't know good in Chinese, so I have to use Spanish. Yeah. No bueno. Anyway. Bo hao. Maybe that's Chinese. So... I don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 